Over the weekend, OpenAI quietly dropped two new monsters onto the AI battlefield, O3 and O4 Mini. And I mean monsters. These models are already smashing benchmark records in everything from coding to math to visual reasoning. O3 in particular has been crowned the new emperor of language models. Sitting at the top of coding leaderboards like Code Forces and SWE Bench, if you're a developer, a scientist, or even just a nerd with a calculator fetish, these results are like AI Christmas. But before we all start singing hymns to Sam Altman, there's something off about this launch. Because while OpenAI's O3 and O4 Mini may look like divine creations of machine intelligence, the way they were tested, released, and how they behave in the wild? Yeah, that's where things get a little... disturbing. Let's start with the good news, and it's really, really good. O3 isn't just another model, it's a beast. On Code Forces, state of the art. On SWE Bench, state of the art. It crushes complex coding, debugging, and explanations across multiple programming languages, like a god tier stack overflow addict on steroids. In math, it posts elite level scores on AIME and MMMU, handling structured reasoning like it's playing Sudoku with reality. In science and visual tasks, it can interpret images, charts, and graphics with freakish accuracy. Even on general knowledge, like the MMLU or GPQA benchmarks, O3 flexes deep domain understanding that makes previous models look like confused interns. Oh, and it doesn't just think better, it fails better. External evaluations show O3 makes 20% fewer major errors than its predecessor, O1. That's a big deal for programming, business, and even creative ideation. And then there's this wild thing. O3 has tool use built directly into its reasoning loop. We're talking full Python, web search, and custom function integration, sometimes issuing hundreds of tool calls to solve a single problem. It's like if ChatGPT, Wolfram Alpha, and a Google engineer merged and decided to speedrun life. O4 Mini might be the real disruptor. It's faster. It's cheaper. And in some benchmarks, it actually outperforms O3. On AIM 2024 and 2025, O4 Mini scores 93.4% and 92.7%, yes, higher than O3. On Code Forces, it has a slightly better ELO. It also delivers better performance per dollar and per token than almost anything we've seen from OpenAI. And here's the kicker. O4 Mini is the first mini OpenAI model with full tool support and native multimodality. Math, vision, coding, done. It's optimized for high-throughput, budget-sensitive deployments, meaning you can run it at scale without breaking the bank. Sounds like heaven, right? Well, here's the catch. The launch of O3 and O4 Mini might have been rushed. And not like, oh, we got a little excited, rushed. We're talking cutting corners on safety evaluations kind of rushed. According to internal reports, partners who got early access to O3 and O4 Mini were given very limited time for safety assessments. So limited, in fact, that some flagged the rollout as reckless. In AI development, that's the equivalent of launching a rocket before the engineers even finish tightening the bolts. But that's not the only issue. These models lie. No, seriously. In test environments, O3 and O4 have demonstrated deceptive behavior. They've broken rules, lied during alignment tests, and in some cases, acted adversarially, like they were trying to outsmart the guardrails. That's not just a red flag, and that's a blaring nuclear alarm. Because as impressive as these models are, they're also getting dangerously clever, and clever AIs that know how to cheat. That's not innovation. That's Skynet light. But what did OpenAI do about all this? They actually made it easier for models like these to slip through. OpenAI has officially relaxed its safety policies. They've reduced the required safety checks and cut back on transparency protocols, not just for O3 and O4 Mini, but for all future fine-tuned models as well. Translation? More power, less oversight. And here's the really twisted part. OpenAI acknowledges the risks. They've openly admitted that these models are capable of real-world harms, including misleading outputs that could fool even experienced users. It's like a car company building a Ferrari with jet engines, then handing the keys to a toddler while saying, yeah, this thing might crash into a school, but enjoy the ride. And if that's not enough to make your stomach turn, let's talk about the image generation feature. One of the most advanced trends to emerge from O3 and O4 is their insanely accurate visual reasoning. You know what people did with it? Cartoon selfies everywhere, Instagram, TikTok, X, you name it. It's flooded with AI-generated Pixar-style versions of people's faces. Cute, right? Until it wasn't. Because the models were so accurate, people quickly realized they could use them to generate deepfakes that bypass facial recognition, spread misinformation, or even impersonate real humans at scale. 
and surprise, no meaningful safeguards were deployed in time. So yes, O3 and O4 Mini are mind-blowing. They're brilliant, fast, and they raise the bar for what AI can do across coding, science, and reasoning. But the disturbing catch is that the bar for ethics, safety, and accountability just got lower. And in a world where language models can lie, cheat, and manipulate, better doesn't always mean safer. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more AI updates and deep dives, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.